Hello everybody, my name is Ilya. And my name is Ilya. Just kidding, my name is Tyler. I'm sitting on the wrong side though. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Together we're Coffrey, a couple who loves board games. This week, as usual, we've got some exciting games coming your way with our Check It Out series where we try to introduce new board games to you folks. And today we have... Kabuto Sumo! Kabuto Sumo is designed by Tony Miller, the art is done by Quan Chai Maria, and is published by BoardGameTables.com. It's a 15 to 20 minute game that plays 1 to 4 players. Well, 2 to 4 players. Alright, it's a match -up. Boom, boom! That's why you... <laughs> yeah, no solo mode in this one. Yeah. <laughs> in Kabuto Sumo, your goal is to be the bug wrestler that pushes all the other sumo wrestlers off the board and remains the last one standing. Will he be the champion of the stump? Now let's take a quick look at how to play the game. You'll begin by setting up. You'll place a sumo ring in the center of the table and set it up according to your player count. Each player will get a wrestler card and any signature pieces that go along with it, as well as they'll pick their wrestler and get the corresponding token. They'll get their starting discs and be ready to go. Now you'll take turns in this game pushing discs onto the sumo ring in hopes of pushing the other opponents off. On your turn, you'll push one piece from your inventory into a straight line onto the board. Now any standard discs that fall out of the ring as a result of the push are added to your inventory. However, the signature pieces are returned to the supply. Now before or after you push, you may perform some or all of your wrestler's signature moves. Each signature move may be used at most once per turn. Now there's a variety of signature moves, so make sure you familiarize yourself with the characters that you'll be playing. Now you'll be eliminated if your player piece falls off or if you have no more pieces to push when it comes to your turn. And the last sumo wrestler standing wins the game. Cactus! So what do you think? Oh boy! Dexterity games are usually like hit or miss for me. This one is a hit. I feel like I always say that dexterity games are not my favorite, but every <laughs> dexterity game we play I'm like Yes! Uh, yeah, I just find that there's just so many different characters and the games seem like they would last like a short time, but they... Some have gone some, for yeah, some quite a while. Drag out, and it, in a good way, drag out in a good way, because you're like off at the edge of your seat the whole time and you're like, I gotta just push this so it goes this way and I hope that this one falls off so I can get it and yeah, 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 yeah. Boom. Well, I think the moves make it as well, the signature moves. Yeah. It allows you to be a little bit strategic and utilize some of the pieces that fall off and sometimes get to play a big dung if you're a dung beetle, which is the one of my favorite characters. huge orange thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bless you. No, excuse me. Yeah, so dung. Dung, 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 dung. Apparently dung makes me sneeze. Well, could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> so who should check out this game? Well, if you really like dexterity games, this I think, without a question, is a game that you should definitely try out. Mm -hmm. I really like the theme, if you're mm -hmm. into insects and seeing how, like, uh, the designer has been able to mingle and mash mm -hmm. um, mechanics with the different types of bugs that they've decided to include in this game. I think that you should check it out as well. Yeah, the art in this game is gorgeous. Quan Chi Maria did a phenomenal job. But it is really fun. I think even if you don't like dexterity games, this could be one that you could try out because mm -hmm. sure, you think you push, you're push, you pushing this piece and you're like, obviously it's gonna go dun 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 and hit the beetle off. But then all the pieces move in directions that you don't even expect them to because they're all round. Angles. So, so it's really tough to predict <laughs> how they'll actually react. That's true, yeah. Especially with a cactus. Yeah, like the, some of the shapes are pretty, mm -hmm. pretty random. It's true. <laughs> Another reason you should check out this game is it's really family friendly. You can play, there's a family friendly mode where it's a little bit more simpler without the signature moves. Mm -hmm. And really anybody can play this game. I think you can just throw it on the table and be like, let's wrestle, let's get down to business. Yeah. You could decide who's uh, making dinner uh, with this game. It's true. <laughs> Although some games may last too long, you'll forget about dinner altogether. Yeah, because you're having so much fun. No, the games don't last that long. No. Uh, when we say they drag out, we mean they, they take like, what, maybe 20 minutes? Yeah, instead of like and 10. Instead of, <laughs> yeah, instead of 10. But yes. it, 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 it's a lot of fun, and it is really really fast to set up, really uh, quick to play, really easy to teach. It 
checks all those boxes mm -hmm. for a simple family game. Mm -hmm. Well, why shouldn't people check this one out? It's a little bit unpredictable. You don't know yeah. exactly what's going to happen. You could have all the odds stacked in your favor, the other bugs at the edge of the board, you've won the game almost, and then you a couple of, of lucky moves, There's you're just back in the, over the stump and then you lose. Yeah. So I think because if you're, if you are very much, you have a complete plan in mind and this is how it's gonna happen, this may not be the game for you because your plan may not just work out. Yeah, you gotta walk into this game and be like, I'm gonna just do the best I can. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, any other reasons? Yeah, uh, obvious, like the obvious reason if, if is if you're not that sold on dexterity games, mm -hmm. probably don't check this out. If you absolutely hate insects, and I know there are some people this out there that cannot for you. stand them, then maybe do not, uh, Mm -hmm. Do not uh, veer towards this game. <laughs> but maybe it would help you uh, conquer your fear. Who knows? Well, overall, we really enjoyed this game. Yeah, a lot of fun. A I think it, fun. it's just easy to get to the table, and because of the production and how it plays, it's just magnificent. You always want to get your opponent out of the game, and I usually succeed. Yeah, I'm bad at this game, but it doesn't, doesn't matter because I just have a lot of fun playing it. And the cool thing is, is like, well, what I do is I picture what's actually happening with these bugs and like, what would they be doing if they were fighting? And I just remember looking back, like when I was younger, watching a scorpion fight a tarantula. And I was like, this is exactly what this game is. <laughs> That's very true. Well, for our question of the day today, is what has been a fun, spooky, or eventful encounterance you've had with an insect? <laughs> We've had one. <laughs> oh yes, we have. We were in uh, France mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> for a couple weeks, and we were down in the south side, so mm -hmm. Nice, uh, walking towards the beach, and uh, all the sun. I'm not really. Yeah, I'm not really in paying attention to where we're going. Of the road. <laughs> There's a it's huge giant horn beetle. Yeah. And Tyler like was not. This. Like this. <laughs> it looked like this. And I was not having it. I was like, oh my god, horn beetle! And then I like, turned around and I would not go any further. So it was literally like a cartoon moment where yeah. you like you just walk onto the street and right in the center there's this horn beetle just staring you down. Yeah. And I'm not like I'm not that scared of bugs to begin with. The but horn beetle. I am not used to seeing <laughs> bugs that are that big, so it uh, Well, uh, yeah, we'd love to hear your stories. That was ours. Mm -hmm. And if you enjoy what you saw, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, the thumbs, thumbs up. up. Yeah. And leave some fun comments for us. We always love hearing your stories and chatting with you and just appreciate you watching. Yeah, and of course, let us know if you played this game. Let us know your thoughts or maybe this game is for you. If it isn't for you, what, what, what are you thinking about it? So, we'll have a wonderful rest of your day. And until next time, this is us checking out. Bye! Bye.